In this video, I'm going to solve this question. If the correlation between variables x and y is zero, then we have to find which of the following statements is correct. So we are given that the correlation between y and x is equal to zero. And then we have to talk about two regressions, the regression of y on x and x on y. So first let's talk about the regression of y on x and let's see what all information we get. So regression of y on x. So let's say that the sample regression function in this case is equal to this. So y i hat is equal to b1 plus b2 xi. So this is the sample regression function. And if we use the OLS method, we get that b1 is equal to y bar minus b2 x bar. And we get that b2 is equal to summation xi yi divided by summation xi square, where small xi is equal to capital xi minus x bar and small yi is equal to capital yi minus y bar. Well, you can write that beta 2 is equal to this divided by n and this divided by n. I'm assuming a large sample here. So I've divided and multiplied by n. You can also divide and multiply by n minus one. That won't make any difference in this. So from here, we get that B2 is equal to covariance between x, y divided by variance of x. So you just put the value of small x, i here and small y, i here. And then you'll be able to see that this is equal to covariance between x, y divided by variance of x. So this is the formula of B2 that we are going to use. Now we are given in the question that correlation between X and Y is equal to zero. Well, correlation between X and Y equal to zero implies that covariance between X and Y is equal to zero. So from here we get that B2 is equal to zero. So B2 is equal to zero because the numerator is zero. Well, B1 is equal to Y bar minus B2 X bar. So B1 is equal to Y bar minus B2 X bar. So this implies that B1 is equal to Y bar minus zero. So B1 is equal to Y bar. Now see what we have here. We have the intercept coefficient equal to Y bar and the slope coefficient equal to zero. So let's draw this line. So let's say this is our horizontal axis and this is our vertical axis. Okay. And here, we have x values and here we have y values. And when we regressed y on x, we got that b1 is equal to y bar. So let's say that y bar is here. So this is y bar. So b1 is equal to y bar. b1 is the intercept coefficient. And the b2 is zero. So that means the slope of the line is zero. So the line will go something like this. So this is the line that we get when we regress y on x. Now let's talk about the regression of x on y. So now let's say we regress x on y. So regression of x on y. And let's say the sample regression function is this. So xi hat is equal to b3 plus b4 yi. So in this case, your xi is the dependent variable and your yi is the independent variable. Well, using OLS, we can find that in this case, B3, which is the intercept coefficient is equal to X bar minus B4 Y bar. And we can write that B4 is equal to covariance between Y and X divided by the variance of the independent variable that is Y. So this is the formula to calculate B4. Now we are given that the covariance between X and Y is equal to zero. So this implies that B4 is equal to zero. And this means that B3 is equal to X bar. So B3 is equal to X bar and B3 is the intercept coefficient and B4, which is the slope coefficient is equal to zero. So now let's graph what we have got here. So now we have regressed X on Y. So in this case, X is the dependent variable. So X should come here and Y is the independent variable and the intercept is X bar. So let's say this is B3 and this is 
x bar and the slope is equal to 0. So the line, the regression line will look something like this. So now this is the line when you regress x on y and this is the line when you regress y on x. Well, if you try to make both the lines in one graph, you will get something like this. So let's say this is x and let's say this is x bar. So your line when you regress x on y will look something like this. So these lines intersect at right angles and they pass through x bar, y bar. So that means the right answer is part A where it's written that the regressions of y on x and x on y intersect at right angles. So as we can see, they intersect at right angles and pass through x bar comma y bar. And that's what we can see here. They are passing through x bar comma y bar. So part A is the right answer.